It is a decades-long tradition for thousands of runners. They took part in the annual Turkey Trot in Tropical Park, and local 10 News reporter Samantha Bryant has been at the race all morning and joins us live from Southwest Miami-Dade. Did you lace up, Samantha? Did you get on the course? <laughs> You know, if you guys had told me before, I would have been ready to run with them. But I got to tell you, they already had it under control. 5,500 people were here at Tropical Park before holiday, before the Thanksgiving dinner, coming out to run a 5 and 10K. And I got to tell you, it was definitely a treat. Before we consume way more calories than we probably should, how does a 5K run sound? Just staying fit keeping up with my kids and it's a good way to start the holidays. More than 5,500 people beat the sun this morning to participate in the decades long tradition. The Baptist Health 5 to 10 K Turkey Trot at Tropical Park. Um, it's just a great day. It's uh, I found out this morning that it's actually the biggest day in America for everyone to run. Uh, so just to be a part of that collective community. Friends and family of all ages got to participate in either a 5 or 10K along with a kid version. Maybe I'm just going to run and try to get like not somewhere in like 100th place or something. <laughs> You're going to be first, right? I try to. Amongst the runners, our own Will Manso striding in. This is my first turkey trot, but we try to run as much as we can. But to run it as a family, it's kind of a cool thing. Because usually if you do a half marathon or a marathon, or you're, you're pushing yourself like that, it's hard with the kids. So to be able to bring the kids out, do it, and then the kids do it, it's, it's a lot of fun. The family and friends affair ended with yard games, face paintings, and I'm sure a really big appetite. Yeah. Are you pretty fast? Yeah. Can you show me, can you show me how fast you are? And I bet he won that race probably. Well, I can tell you one thing. Will Manso definitely re represented Local 10, so I didn't have to participate. But of the 5,500 people that did, there was also a giving back portion as well. And we're told that a lot of the donations that were given today will be given either to Camilla's house through a can drive or also through a shoe drive. Reporting live here from Tropical Park, Samantha Bryant, Local 10 News.